Hello followers, you're here with another episode of Painting with Hunter. I'm Hunter Story, I'm the residential RSA. I'm here with the man himself, Lee Zapata, the franchise owner of Serta Pro. Now Lee, what I want you to talk about today with our followers is go over a little bit how the paint colors go in contrast with any kind of different surfaces that may come across with countertops, uh, the flooring situations, and just demonstrate for the customer. That way they can see a visual for themselves. Well, absolutely. Thank you for that introduction, Hunter. You're welcome. Well, we've got here are two different flooring samples. And I, I picked up a swatch of a very typical countertop that you'd find in a kitchen or in a bathroom. When you take this particular countertop, which, is, which has different shades of black and some creams and some beiges in it, and you put it here, the black really pops. I don't know if you can notice yeah, that. Yeah, no, I can see it a little bit more And now. if we, if we kind of drop it down here, what really pops at you is the black. Yeah, I agree. Now, if we take this same countertop and move it here, and if we just take a second for our eyes to adjust, what happens is the black kind of blends out to the background. Yeah, I can notice that. You almost see a little bit more of the brown or the tan look to it. Exactly. Now, as I take this and drop this down here, the more and more the tans and the beiges kind of come out yeah. and surface. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, if we take the same concept, I'm just going to move this out of the way and grab a color deck. Okay. And we do this with something that's simplified and take just different shades of gray. If I take different shades of gray and put it over this predominantly black flooring, do you notice what happens? Well, it looks like you can see a lot of grays on there, but it's kind of weird though because I can see a little bit of a beige in that, kind of like a grayish almost. Well, that's it's very like a gray good. and a beige. That's very good. As a matter of fact, Revere Pewter is considered one of modern day Grages, okay, which has become a new popular color with interior decorators and stage and stagers. But you're absolutely correct, Hunter. Uh, you can see a little bit of beige, but being on this black tile, the grays are really popping in these different samples. Mm -hmm. When I take this and slide it over onto this tile, what do you see now? Oh wow, you can't even really see the gray very much with the Revere Peter. It looks more of like the beige. Exactly, the flooring is pulling the predominant tone of the color out. This happens with a lot of colors in painting systems, especially with greens and reds, for instance. Uh, when you have two colors like a green and a red, where they're total opposite sides of the color spectrum, they will have a tendency to pull those highlighted hues in, from their surroundings. Okay? Tell you what, why don't we do a sample of that in one of our future episodes of Painting with Hunter. Stay tuned.